Hi everyone, we saw these lovely pictures of these cakes in a can slash parfaits and they are sold in a vending machine in Japan. And today, we thought that we would try to make a DIY version. And we saw these soda cans, they're clear, and we saw them at H Mart. One is an orange flavor and one is a cherry blossom flavor. So I'm going to carefully remove the metal top. I have to be extra careful. So my hand is way down at the bottom holding it and I'm trying to cut right underneath the, where the metal meets the plastic. After about three minutes, I finally got the cap off. That took a lot of work. And now I need to drink this orange soda. And it was pretty good. It's my first time having it. I'm going to rip off the label. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, thanks so much. We really appreciate it. So I rinsed out the can and I'm just going to go ahead and dry it out really well. I'll set that aside and then I'm going to open up the other one. The other one it took me about three minutes to get it open, but there it is. And this flavor tasted even better than the orange soda. Now I'm using a nail file and some scissors to trim any excess parts and to make it very smooth. This way, when I put the metal cap back on, it will line up perfectly with the plastic. And you'll definitely want to rinse your can out again because it will have some dust inside from filing it. Now it's time to prepare all of our fillings that we're going to need. We're going to need a graham cracker filling, a whipped cream layer, and we're going to need some strawberries. So for the graham cracker layer, you just need some butter, sugar, and graham crackers that are crushed up. For this part, I used about a cup of the crushed up graham crackers, a bit of sugar, and about two tablespoons of butter melted. And you want to stir it up nice and evenly so everything's just a little bit wet and easily able to mold because you're going to press this down and pack it down as the very first layer in the can. To get this packed in there really good, I'm going to take a small bottle that will fit inside of these cans and put plastic around it and press it down. So we have our first layer, it's really packed in there, it's time to work on some whipped cream. So I'm using about half a bottle of my whipping cream, a bit of sugar, and I'm going to whip that until it's nice and fluffy. Now I'm going to cut up some strawberries. It might look like I'm being a little wasteful, but I'm having the strawberries be a little bit small and I'll eat the excess so that I can get two layers of the strawberries in there. My strawberries I got are so big, they're almost like a small plum. put a whole little layer I had to be very careful to balance them to make sure they're standing up and looks pretty and I put a little frosting tip inside of a pastry bag you could use a ziplock bag and it helps me so I can be more accurate and get all the whipped cream inside the little nooks and crannies of the strawberries because if you use a spoon there's a good chance you're gonna probably get the whipped cream like everywhere all over the can if any of the whipped cream gets out of place it's so easy just to wipe it off with a piece of tissue and now it's time for another layer of the graham crackers. Just spread it over evenly. And back to the strawberries. And then we'll be putting whipped cream again. So the very last part is to go ahead and seal it up with the hot glue gun and wipe away the excess glue. This way it looks nice and neat and it will look like it's a custom can that was actually made just for that little parfait inside. After you seal it, you still want to be careful because hot glue on plastic can sometimes peel off. So here it is everybody, my version of how to make those lovely little parfaits slash cakes in a can that come in a vending machine all the way in Japan. This will make a really beautiful gift to give to somebody. You can even put a cute little character sticker on it or put a little bow. Now I'm going to enjoy this myself. And when I pop open the cap, the whole thing just pop right off. Please subscribe and I hope you enjoyed the video.